Pioneer 3 was launched on December 6, 1958 at 5.44 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 5 at Cape Canaveral. Its launcher was the Juno 2, which included the same sequence of three solid upper stages as Juno 1, but with a larger and more powerful first stage booster. Unlike its predecessor Pioneer 1, Pioneer 3's mission was simply to fly by the moon, not to orbit it. Pioneer 3 was also much lighter than Pioneer 1. Pioneer 1 was 23 kilograms after expending its propellant to orbit the moon and 34 kilograms on translunar injection, while Pioneer 3 was a mere 5.9 kilograms, though it was launched on a less powerful rocket than Pioneer 1's Thor Abel. With its smaller design, Pioneer 3 would only be able to take one photo of the moon. It had a 0.1 watt transmitter, Geiger-Muller tubes to get data on the Van Allen belts, and two weights on wires used to slow down the probe's spin rate. Unfortunately, Pioneer 3 suffered a similar fate to Pioneer 1. While the earlier mission had a premature cutoff of its second stage, bad propellant sensors caused the early shutdown of Pioneer 3's first stage. So, like Pioneer 1, it was left in a very high suborbital trajectory with a 102,360 km apoapsis and no periapsis. The probe fell back to the Earth a day after launch. It did send back readings for most of the trip though, confirming the temperature inside the probe stayed stable. So its thermal protection system was an improvement on Pioneer 1 because Pioneer 1 had issues with temperature that prevented the firing of its retro rockets. This was NASA's last chance to beat the Soviet Union on the lunar flyby. The Soviet Union would do so with Luna 1 at the beginning of 1959. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Pioneer 3.